Hi, this is Sherry Muffling with Ancient Healings Around the World. I'm standing in front of Abu Simbel at the southern tip of Egypt. Resurrected, created by Ramses II. A temple carved out of rock and the other temple a little bit to the left for his wife Nefertiri, dedicated to the sun god of Amun dating back to around 1257 BC. I went in, meditated, took it all in, moving through these ancient sites. In today's video, I bring to you, focus on the feeling of having it and receive. I'm gonna use two different examples of specific people. Now, one wants a relationship. All right. He might have a specific person in mind, let's say. All right. And the other example in person I'm going to be using as an example here is they need some hot water in their house. No hot water heater, right? For a long time. Why? Because, well, it's kind of expensive and let's say maybe the husband doesn't want to spend that. So in the meantime, the person, the people take cold showers. Not fun. So let's use both of those examples. I want you to think of a specific area that you want to manifest into your life. We're talking about manifestation a lot because I'm working with people around the world in manifesting, clearing energy, clearing the blocks. So you just focus not on the specific person that you want, that relationship. Don't focus on the specific person because it doesn't mean that specific person is actually for you, right? Just focus on the feeling of having an amazing, happy and healthy relationship, somebody who loves you, affectionate, whatever it is that you want in a relationship. Just focus on the energy of how it would feel. Not just once a day. You can do it twice a day. In the morning and in the evening. If you want something to come into fruition, come into your life, you have to keep on exercising that energy. You don't just go to kindergarten and then you check out before you get to first and third and so on and so forth. No. Every day you wake up, you have to show up to this energy, tuning in and tapping in every day and how it would feel for this person to have an amazing And the other person who needs to manifest some hot water, don't focus on the money. to mind right now is you envision a circle above your head like I've talked before like a sun just like as you could see behind me Ra Amun Ra he has a circle above his head many of the hieroglyphics show a circle above everyone's head and you put that energy of that relationship or whatever you're trying to manifest you put it into that beautiful bubble that sun right above your head and let's say you have that not so much the water here but you just taking a hot shower every day i'm just using those as examples every single day feeling only a hot bath bubble bath what it's like remembering the days you, see, you put it up there you plant the seeds above your head you put it into this beautiful golden bubble of light circle of light down through you. As I 
talk about this before in other videos. So, if you want to bring something into your life, think about it every day. Daydream about it. Feed it. Water it. Think about it. Even when you're driving. When you're walking. Every day, keep on feeding that energy. Feeling it into your life. Whatever it is that you want to bring forth. All right? So, signing out here at Abu Simbel, the Sun Temple basically dedicated to Amura, Ramses II, Nefertiri, his wife. And the other temple is, well, it's over here, but at this point you can't really see it. It's behind me. Signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around.